Many farmers who we've been working with in East Africa have told us that they've never had an ability to get access to quality inputs and loans uh, before, but now through a mobile solution that we're designing for them, they finally have that chance. Um, when we started talking and listening to farmers. And what we found was that they wanted different things. They wanted to learn. They wanted to be able to access high quality inputs. And in order to really reach the poor at scale, particularly farmers in rural areas, you've got to bring in technology. I think we were really privileged to be able to be the first partners for Safaricom to use human-centered design. Human-centered design brings out people's voices. When you think about designing products and services for for people. Answers to the big problems that we so often want to solve exist in the people's minds, in the people's homes, in people's contexts. We have to go to where they are to be able to uncover some of the needs and challenges that they face. And then coming out of that, we had identified what we would call a MVP, a minimum viable product, which is basically the, the design of um, the Digifarm service that we felt would best meet farmers' needs. The product, as it were, which we call now Digifarm, which ideally is a platform that we're developing that allows farmers to access basically all the things that they want to, have to access from a farm point of view in one instance. And it's critical to note that uh, the typical farmer in the village actually uses your typical 2G phone and that means that whatever solution that you're defining you must also ensure that it can actually be accessed. If you want to learn, uh, you use your bone to get all the necessary information. When you want to purchase, you use your phone. People are now getting excited. <laughs> it's a new endeavor.